Hi guys, pharmacies are facing shortages due to supply issues caused by the war in Ukraine, government mismanagement, the pandemic and of course Brexit, according to this report by Channel 4. They spoke to a man who runs a number of outlets and he explained what medicine shortages mean for patients. But while that is bad, there is another problem brewing. Due to Tory cuts, pharmacies are closing down. This is at a time when GPs are already under pressure to provide support to patients which could be covered by local pharmacies. A Tory failure that is due to get worse. These are all trays waiting for medicines for patients who've been waiting patiently for a, for a period of time, some for a few days, some for weeks, uh, because of the huge supply problems we're having with the whole range of medicines. Those shortages include HRT, antibiotics, blood pressure tablets and painkillers. Mahesh Shah, who owns three pharmacies in Luton, says supply and manufacturing problems have been caused by a combination of factors, including Brexit, the war in Ukraine and the aftermath of the pandemic. If we are unable to supply these, there are very significant consequences for patients. What are those consequences? Well, basically for patients, it's ill health. Their conditions are not in control. They could end up being in hospital. Mahesh Shah is far from alone in his battle to source vital medicines. A survey by the Pharmaceutical Services Negotiating Committee asked more than 8,000 pharmacists if they'd experienced problems with medical supplies. 92% said yes. 87% said it was a risk to patient health. And 84% said they'd experienced aggression from patients as a result. Which is completely unacceptable. But you can imagine patients go to the pharmacy expecting to receive their life-saving life medicine and it's not available immediately or they have to wait weeks for it. Now, what percentage do you think of UK medicines are imported? 50%? 70%? 20%? Well, according to this report from the Pharmaceutical Journal, it says here, Sawyer revealed that 90% of UK medicines are imported, and of that number, 45% come from the EU. Businesses were unable to plan for, the, for uncertainty and needed at least two years after the UK left the EU in March 2019 to work out a new supply system with the MHRA and others. Because uh, most of the medicine, 90% of medicine is imported, if there's any disruption in supply, for example, in Europe, Britain suffers the consequences of that. Now we saw recently uh, AstraZeneca moving its operations to Ireland. That's going to have an impact as well. So some of these problems, for example, when it comes to the, the war in Ukraine, is, not, is, is out of the hands of the UK government. But when it comes to Brexit, this is a political choice. But then there are other problems. But it's not just supply issues that are proving challenging for pharmacists. Increasing numbers are struggling to keep their heads above water financially. Pharmacists rely on the government to pay them for medicines and services, but they say funding has been cut in real terms by 30%, and that's led to the closure of more than 800 businesses since 2015. It's a really serious crisis and many pharmacies are now on the brink of collapse. So unless we get an urgent investment of resources into pharmacies right now, many are going to face closure and that's going to impact on patients really severely. So if pharmacies close, what's the consequence there? Well, patients will have to go further afield to get their medicines, which will put pressure on existing pharmacies. Or what's going to happen as well is you're going to have people turn up at their GP or even worse at A&E for treatment for things that could be resolved quickly if they had gone to the pharmacy instead. So if you have a sore throat, you know, you've been told and, and government want you to do this, go to the pharmacy, don't go to your GP, you're putting too much pressure on the GP, go to the pharmacy, they can provide you something that in, in many cases resolves your medical problem. If it's something more serious, of course, the pharmacist will send you to the GP or, or send you to hospital if they believe that's the, the right uh, approach. But if the pharmacy is closed, well, people will have to go somewhere. They'll go to their GP. And GPs are already under massive pressure. Once again, these are political choices. When it comes to imports, this is a, deci uh, this is a Brexit decision. 
the UK government should be trying to negotiate with the EU or member states to try and improve the supply of medicines. When it comes to pharmacies closing because they're not receiving enough funding, once again, this is a political choice. The government have decided we're not going to invest in the NHS, we're not going to invest in healthcare. We'd prefer the private sector to do that. And these are the consequences. People, we, we've heard so many horror stories from the United States about people skipping medicine, people cutting back because they can't afford it. Well, people will be forced to cut back because they can't actually get the medicine. And this is a huge problem. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.